How I Do Dioramas, the build series. Let's just get on with it. So welcome back for the next episode. And thank you, first of all, for all the comments in which you've been leaving and the great feedback you've been giving so far through the series. Anyway, let's crack on. And in this episode, we're going to tackle the roof. Now, if you remember our reference picture, um, we are going to try and achieve a curved roof. Now, to achieve this, uh, it's a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to do a little bit of cheating. And I've got some of this. Now this is Dried Oasis, it's um, actually a product in which is used for flower arranging and what I did is I purchased a ball of it, cut it in half which has given me this domed effect. Now obviously it's covered in cling film that's why it's a little bit sparkly on the screen there so forgive me but um, I'll explain the reason for that at another time. So cracking on, I uh, did a little bit of experimenting over the last couple of weeks um, and wanted to try and get the best product. Now, obviously, I wanted to try and use the balsa foam and um, cut some um, strips off. And uh, obviously, it's not that flexible, as you can see. So, done some experiments, soaked it in water, and all the sort of things you would ex uh, sort of do with balsa wood and that sort of thing. And uh, no, that doesn't work. Um, it's a similar texture uh, or makeup of texture as the Oasis. So it is really not something in which you can mould, unfortunately. So my next idea was to basically sand down to column like we did with the columns and then cut into individual bricks, which uh, I did. As you can see, individual little bricks. And the idea was to put them down and build them up around. So we did that and that's the effect we got. I've got to be completely honest, not very happy with it. Um, a little bit time consuming and to be honest, for me personally, uh, I didn't think it achieved quite what I wanted to achieve. So my next idea was to use a slightly different product. And this product is Stereofoam, um, commonly used in the model rail um, societies and um, building of model railways. Very easy to, to find, quite cheap to pick up, and I um, thought that would be the, the way to go. So I went ahead and cut one, and as you can see, I managed to cut a curve out. Again, this isn't something you can soak uh, to get a bend, so it is something you're going to potentially have some waste over. But again, waste is never waste, really. You can use it. Anyway, I'm waffling. So I marked out um, the brickwork if you like uh, for the stones and thought well yeah okay that's not too bad you bring in the first version yeah um, a lot more stable this one's a little bit rickety if I'm honest although it's quite once you glue it it's quite you can pull it around a bit but um, yeah I didn't I didn't like either of those if I'm honest so with that being said I decided to go back to the the, the bolts of foam and um, actually cut out a curve similar to how I did with the Stereofoam and luckily because I used the Stereofoam it gave me a form in which I could use so we could quite easily create a curve from that so we brought our a balsa foam material over um, this is a slightly different thickness uh, same product but slightly different obviously it's the 8mm Whereas the walls we would have used are 12.5 mil, so it gives a little bit thinner um, curve, the thinner material to work with. So we're going to bring our um, our form that we've we've made and bring that in, and we're just going to literally mark around it. Like so. It's just a little bit longer. Yeah, it's still a little bit there. Now I'm going to cut this out.
and there we go, we've got our curved surface, gonna put that to one side. Okay, so a nice rounded edge there, as you can see. We'll bring out a little moulding and we'll make sure, oh, wrong way around. We'll make sure that sits nicely, which it does. So now what we need to do, is we need to remove the access, obviously. So use our little flexi friend. We'll bring this in. trying to do here is to bring the, the edge of the curve a measuring curve to where we've got our rounded edge and we'll just draw a line around the back of that like so and that's going to be our excess this part here we're going to take this off now So there you go, that's our nice rounded curved columns, a little bit of attention still required but what I've done here as you can see is I have allowed the thickness of the columns to be reasonably thick. The reason is that's going to help us build up our roof structure. So um, there we go, that's how we're going to do that. Okay, so our next step is to bring in a little bit of detail here. And what we're going to do is we're going to get out a little curving arch. And I measure along every centimetre. So we'll measure along every centimetre, make a little mark on balsa foam and then with our little carving tool we're just going to go across the column. So there you go, I hope you can see that, we've got a nice curved arch column which will help form our roof structure and as you can see the stones are individually carved so that should be picked out quite well. So as you can see the we've got our column there and our piece that we've just made for our roof, that will sit on top and that will give us exactly what we need. So I'm gonna carry on with these. Only a few more to do and we'll bring it all together. Well I think it's a good moment to call time on this episode. I'm off for a quick cup of coffee but I'd just like to take a moment to say thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any further updates from the show reports and to the build series. Thank you so much for all your comments. I've had so many comments from everybody. I do read them all and I do reply to them all. So please keep them coming. Any suggestions, by all means, please, please do make a comment. Anyway, until next week, take care.